Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're a new viewer here, my name is Dave, and I'm an HVAC contractor here in the Salt Lake City, Utah area. And in this video, we are going to be discussing the number one diagnostic code that I see on so many furnaces. Uh, we're going to show you what that code is and how you can easily fix that. Um, believe it or not, this is a very simple fix in a lot of cases, and I just wanted to share that information with you guys. So more than likely, um, when you come down here to your furnace, you probably see this little LED light that's flashing at you, and you're probably watching this video because of that. The code that we see most often is a limit switch code. Now, uh, to a lot of homeowners, this may be kind of gibberish, like they don't even know what a limit switch is. So I'm gonna first of all show you what that is and why it's doing what it's doing and an easy fix for this trouble code. You probably already know that you have a limit circuit fault code on your furnace, but if you need help finding out what code your furnace is actually throwing, I'll leave a link in the video description to another video that will show you how to read the codes on your furnace. For this particular video, we are gonna focus right here on limit circuit fault. Notice a couple of things that we can check. Proper vent sizing, loose blower wheel, restricted vent, uh, these things are pretty uncommon. However, this guy right here, dirty filter or restricted duct system, that is the number one cause for this code, believe it or not. So if you've got this code 33, I would pull your filter out, check it if it's dirty, go ahead and replace it even if you don't think it's dirty. Uh, one pro tip that I've found over the years is People that are doing remodeling do not see the drywall dust that is in their filter because it's white, but it actually is like totally blocked. So uh, make sure you just go ahead and replace the filter. Once you have the filter replaced, go ahead and flip the switch off and back on, and that will basically reset the system and eliminate the code that was stored previously, and the system should start over. Okay, so this is what an actual limit switch itself looks like. Now, as we just discussed, um, more than likely, it's not gonna be the limit switch that is the problem, but if you have a dirty filter for a long enough period of time, it can actually cause the limit switch to go bad. Now, in a second, I'm gonna pull this limit switch out and I'm gonna show you what it actually does. But before you attempt any of this, um, make sure you just change the filter and see if that does the trick for you. Now, before you mess with anything inside of your furnace, obviously we want to make sure that our switch is turned off and that we're not getting power to any of this equipment uh, before we touch our limit switch. And as always, if you don't know a ton about electricity and you don't feel confident doing this safely, please don't attempt this. Um, just call a professional. If you do, you know a bit about electricity, then just make sure you're being safe. So as you're probably already aware, but just to be clear, uh, the way that a furnace works is we have the burners, they go into this heat exchanger, heating up this piece of metal behind this case. Eventually the exhaust fumes will come out of the flue and exit into the roof or wherever it exits. And then the fresh air that comes through your filter, through the return duct, gets pushed across that heat exchanger and in turn heating it up. Now this component is the limit switch and it goes right there where we just showed you a video of. And this is a crucial, crucial part of the system. Uh, do not ever take this little component lightly because it's very, very important. It's very simple, but it's very important. So it just has two leads here and it should have continuity, or in other words, it should go through this pin and the, the electricity should go through it and come out of this pin. Now, this is a temperature related component. So when the furnace in here is say uh, 150 degrees, um, this will stay closed. And if for any reason, say the filter gets clogged and it's not moving enough air past the heat exchanger and it just gets too hot, say it gets to 155 or 160 degrees, this little disc that's inside here will open and it will disconnect these two leads, causing the furnace to shut down. Now what happens is, if your filter is dirty 
and this disconnects and then connects and disconnects and it does that over and over and over again, eventually it will stick and this component will just be useless. All right, unless you're a professional, do not ever attempt to jump these leads out as a test procedure. I always recommend to test this with a voltmeter and that's the best way that you can verify if your limit switch is bad or if it's good. Okay, so we got one pin here and one pin on the other one. We can see we have continuity, meaning uh, voltage is going through and coming back out. So that's a good way to test that this is okay. Um, if you test these two pins and there's no continuity, obviously that's gonna throw a number 33 limit sensor fault code. So at that point, you could go to repair clinic and you can just type in the furnace model number, which is gonna be on the case somewhere and you can pick up a limit switch. These are typically $10 or less and uh, very easy to replace. So these are the two main things associated with this limit switch fault code that you might find on your furnace. But overall, the most common thing is a dirty filter. Uh, people do not realize how important it is to keep your filters changed, how good it is for the system, for your own health, and to avoid um, codes like a limit switch code. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave it a like. And if you're having other furnace problems and you're just watching this video for knowledge, check out this playlist. Um, we have a lot of different furnace repair videos and uh, the odds are uh, one of those repairs that you might be running into is going to be found in this playlist. So hope you guys have a good rest of the day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Later.